Hi and welcome to my fifth video in this series about energy and ecosystems and today we're going to look at intensive animal farming. And so intensive animal farming is all um, essentially profit driven um, and so by intensively farming then what you're trying to maximise is the yield and in this case we're going to look at chicken but this can apply to virtually any types of animals. Um, and so the yield is essentially the amount of product that you get out and so what you want is to put as minimum energy or as minimum resources in um, for the maximum you can get out and so to do this you've got to limit your costs and you've got to limit um, the types of things that you're putting in and so if we think about chicken farming and the types of products you want when we're purely looking at so this isn't um, egg related this will be chickens used to slaughter and to be produced to be eaten um, and if you think about it what you want to do is you want to make sure for the maximum amount of resources and energy you put in, you get the maximum amount of yield, and that may be the tastiest meat, that may be um, the biggest amount of meat that you can possibly produce on a chicken. And so there are methods by which the intensively reared animals um, can produce this. One way um, is to keep them in cages. So it's quite a contentious thing at the minute, um, how we treat animals, <coughs> excuse me, so how we treat animals before um, they're slaughtered. But one way um, to, to ensure that they grow to a larger size is to limit their movement. And, and so if they're respiring, what will happen um, is the products of that respiration can then be used for growth. Um, if they're moving around, more of the products of their respiration can then go for, um, be used for things like movement um, and reproduction. And so by keeping them in cages, it limits the movement and therefore all of the energy that's produced in respiration can then go for go to be used for growth. They're also kept indoors. Um, keeping organisms indoors means that you can control the temperature. And so obviously with a tighter control temperature, what you have there um, is it means that the animal doesn't need to use the products of respiration again to heat itself. And so and so keeping them in barns, keeping them in controlled conditions like that means more of the energy can go towards growing unless it's used to regulate temperature and hence why lots of the organisms like chickens are kept indoors. An obvious one is select every breed of birds and um, with particular characteristics. So the characteristics we're talking about here would be a fast maturation rate, a fast growth rate, um, a high proportion of meat, um, the quality of the meat, all of these things are consideration are taken into consideration when you selectively breed. And so you might start off with a group of chickens um, that are quite varied, but you'll find that um, most farm chickens genetically are quite similar um, because they've been bred from um, a narrow gene pool, if you will, and so therefore they, they exhibit similar characteristics. Another way to um, limit your costs would be to um, reduce the food intake by the organism or to closely monitor the food and the amount that you give them. What you want to give them is you want to give them a feed that has all of the nutrients that they require. But you don't want to overfeed them because if you think about it, there will be losses through faeces, um, through excretion um, and generally through putting on um, excess fat. What you want is to give them the optimum amount of food that they require and so that, that goes towards um, you know, building tissues rather than producing faeces and the products of excretion. Another way to ensure um, that you get maximum bang per buck is to kill at maturation. So as soon as they reach a mature age, they're slaughtered straight away. The reason for that is if you keep them for an extra week, if you keep them for an extra series of weeks, then essentially you're having to heat the barns, you're having to feed those chickens for an extra week, and those are all costs that need to be taken into account. So with intensively reared organisms, that there's a constant balance between um, the costs and the products, and so farmers have to weigh up what they put in compared with what they get out. And that is essentially intensive animal farming. And so this can be applied to not only chickens but a number of different types of animals um, that are farmed in this way. Obviously now there's much more emphasis put on organically reared organisms and so free range chickens for instance are allowed to move. Um, but they're obviously kept for longer, they may get a slightly more varied diet. Um, and so the types of questions here are ethical ones on whether we think it's morally correct to um, breed chickens in a certain way um, just for our benefit or whether um, 
we consider their lives as um, important or not. If you join me on the next video where we'll be looking at um, some